on this video, I'm going to show you the sales lessons that I learned from one of my childhood heroes, and that is none other than Bruce Lee himself. I'm going to teach you sales lessons that I learned from Bruce Lee. In my brain, Bruce Lee was the first real life superhero. To this day, he's probably my favorite celebrity and he died in 1973. But I learned some lessons about selling from Bruce Lee that I haven't learned anywhere else. And on this video today, I'm gonna teach you those lessons. So I had polio as an infant. And as a result of that, I couldn't run. So I learned how to fight. Because you ain't going to chase me. You might run up to me, but you ain't fixing to chase me. And so the first time I ever saw a kung fu movie, I knew that's going to be me someday. And the first time I ever saw a Bruce Lee movie, I was just blown away that somebody could do that stuff. Then later I found out that Bruce Lee was actually Kato from what we called Kato and the Green Hornet, even though it was the Green Hornet and Kato, we called it Kato and the Green Hornet because Kato was the man. The Green Hornet was just the dude in the green suit. Kato could fight better than the Green Hornet. He was cooler than the Green Hornet. But Bruce Lee was a cultural phenomenon, and he was a real-life superhero. And in one of his movies, Enter the Dragon, when they're going to Mr. Han's tournament, they're on the boat, and there's this bully on the boat. He keeps going around beating people up taking kids and turning their stuff over. He walks up to Bruce Lee and he throws a punch at Bruce Lee's face. And Bruce Lee looks at him and says, don't waste yourself. Or he said it actually like this, don't waste yourself. The guy looked confused. He said, what's your style? Bruce Lee said, you might call it the art of fighting without fighting. The art of fighting without fighting. Show me something. Okay, but don't you think we need more room? Where? That island over there. So the guy climbs down in a little dinghy that has a rope attached to it. And when he climbs down into it, Bruce Lee lets the dinghy out. So the big boat that he's on is towing the little boat. And he gives the rope to the kids that this guy was taunting. And so Bruce Lee won the fight without fighting. Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you the art of selling without telling, the art of selling without yelling, and the art of selling without selling. And it's going to be mind-blowing. What does that mean? Well, the first thing is, what's your style? That's what the guy said. What's your style? What is your style? Is your style of selling, are you the motivated seller? This is so great. You're going to be so excited. You're going to love this thing because it's so awesome. And you hype up the thing that you're selling, which makes people want to run away from you and hide. Are you the motivator? What's your style? Or are you the beggar? Oh, please do me a favor and listen to this presentation. Oh, please do me a favor and buy this thing. Oh, please, I only need to make two more sales. Are you that guy or girl? Are you the beggar? What's your style? What is your style of selling? Are you the high-pressure closer? No, you know you need to take this. What, are you a loser or something? What are you, a loser? You, don't, you said you wanted this. Are you a loser or are you a liar? Which one? And we've all had those experiences. Are you the time waster? I'm going to keep them here so long that by the time I let them go, they're going to feel like they just got paroled from prison. What's your style? Like, my last car buying experience was like that. I said, I will never go to a car dealership to buy a car again. And I, I remember when I was there, and they tried to put me in prison. I'm like, I'm, I gotta go eat. Well, no, we need you to stay here. You don't need me to stay here. Y'all don't even have your stuff together. Here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go eat. When I come back, have the papers ready for me to sign or I'm not buying the car, <laughs> right? So do, do you have like the, the, the high pressure closer? Do you have the, like the imprisoner? Like what's your closer, what's your sales style? My sales style, is the art of selling without telling. What does that even mean? See, your problem and the reason you can't sell is because you wanna tell everybody about your product. And nobody cares. 
They don't care what your product is. They don't care how good it is. They don't care how long you've been in business. You just want to tell them all the stuff that nobody cares about. We've been in, been in business since 1957. We believe in quality, customer service, and high moral character. Shut up. <laughs> nobody cares about that. Blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares about that. And so what you do is you want to tell people about your product. Or you want to tell them about the pieces. Yeah, but you don't understand. You get you get one of these, you get two of these, you get three in green, two in blue, and four in red. And by the time you get done opening this thing, it's just so amazing. Nobody cares. What's your style? Well, that time has come for the event of the year, of the decade, potentially of the century. Offer Mastery Live 2024, Tampa, Florida. Be there or beware. Last year, Offer Mastery Live sold out in two and a half weeks. We had a waiting list of 275 people who could not get in the door. You do not want to miss out. When we tell you this is going to be a sold out event, 2,200 people, JW Marriott, May of 2024. The dates are on the video. Make sure you get your tickets now because when the tickets are gone for those of you who already know this from last year they're gone we're gonna have a myriad of dynamic speakers I'm gonna be doing lots and lots of trainings on making offers and it's going to be a life changing event. A lot of people told me after Offer Mastery Live last year, it was the best event they've ever been to in their lives. I concur, it was the best event I've ever been to in my life. A family friendly environment, truth about business and making money from a biblical perspective, nobody cussing you out on stage, it's going to be game changing. And I'm inviting you to meet me in Tampa, Florida, May of 2024 at Offer Mastery Live, where your life is about to change for the better. I'll see you in May. My style is the art of selling without selling. I'm not, I'm not any of those other things, and I'm certainly not going to tell you. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask you questions. You know why? Because questions are the answer. I believe that people do things for their reasons and their reasons only. They don't do things for yours. And if you're telling people, you're under the erroneous belief that people want to buy for the reason you want to sell, and I'm telling you, those two things are as far apart as New York City is from Los Angeles. So instead of telling, ask questions. If you will ask questions, the person you're talking to will tell you everything you need to know in order for them to get to a yes answer. Why? They wouldn't even be listening to you if they didn't already desire the outcome. They already know they desire the outcome. They're attempting to discern whether they desire the outcome from you or somebody better than you. And the only thing you've got to do while you're in that interaction is just let them know by your example that there is no one better than you. So it's not telling, telling about the product, telling them about the pieces, telling them about the process. That is the kiss of death. We've got, we've got 15 spreadsheets, 37 Slack channels. We've got a process that'll blow your mind. And we're going to give you, anyway, it, it, our, CRM, our CRM protocol. Nobody cares. You show somebody your process, what you're telling them is that it's hard. One of the questions they have in their mind, is it easy? Another question is, does it work? The other question is, can I do it? If the answer to all three of those isn't yes, you're talking about the wrong thing. You know how I get people, you know how, you know how I sell? I sell by empowering people to buy. I know they desire the result. You don't go to a webinar because you don't want the outcome the webinar promised. You don't go to a seminar because you don't desire the outcome the seminar promised. So people already desire the outcome. You don't go into a shoe store because you want to buy a boat, unless you want to buy some boat shoes, right? You go to a shoe store because you want to buy shoes. So don't tell them about your process. Tell them about, ask them a bunch of questions to find out what is their external obstacle that they're seeking to overcome. Ask them questions to find out what internal reward they get for overcoming that external obstacle. Ask them questions about the internal thing that's blocking them on the inside so that you can tell them how this thing overcomes those internal, those internal inhibitions. And then make sure you let them know that it's not going to go against any of their philosophical beliefs when they say yes to this offer. And so now they feel empowered through the art of selling without telling, the art of selling without yelling. Maybe you're a yeller. Maybe that's your style. And you think if you say it louder, it makes it more true. Saying things louder does not make it more true. In fact, it makes me doubt you even more. It's kind of like a guy was preparing one of his speeches. He's like, oh, weak points, say it louder. No, that's not the answer. You don't have to yell to get people to buy. The problem is they can't hear. The problem is not that they can't hear you. The problem is they don't like what they hear. So how can I make the message something that causes them to like what they hear instead of trying to force 
the message into their ears with more volume. The art of selling without selling. See, I believe that it's not about yelling, it's not about telling, and it's not about even what people think is selling. So it's, I say it's the art of selling without selling, but it's not really the art of selling without selling. It's really the art of selling without doing the thing most people erroneously think is selling. Because what most people call selling is not selling. Most people think convincing is selling. But convincing is not only not selling, convincing is the opposite of selling. What does that mean? Convincing is when I attempt to get you to do something I desire you to do for my reasons. Selling is persuasion. What's persuasion? Persuasion is helping you make a decision you already desire to make for your own reasons. Wrap your mind around what I just said. Helping you make a decision you already desire to make for your own reasons. That's the art of selling without selling. So now, how do you do it? A couple things. Number one, you enroll the prospect. How do you do that? By asking them a question. So what's the single biggest challenge you're having with XYZ? Um, would you like to, and then whatever the thing you sell, would you like to experience ABC and EFG? And would you like to experience that sooner or sooner? I mean, would you rather experience that now or do you want to wait until later? Well, I'd like to experience it now. Great. Okay. And then, so you ask them questions. Say, well, I'm going to share some, some things with you, but I want to make sure you get it. So if, you're, if it's okay with you, I'm not just going to sit here and give you a lecture. So are you okay if I ask you some questions? And if I ask you some questions, do you mind giving me an honest answer? Is that fair? Is that fair? If that's fair, say that's fair. That's fair. Okay, cool. And then so I'm going to enroll them, and then I'm going to engage them. I'm going to keep them engaged. And I engage them by asking questions and waiting for an answer. When I make a statement, I get them to repeat it. And every now and then I'll use what's known as suggestology. What's that? That's when I begin a sentence, leave the last word off, and get them to fill in the blank. And so what happens when I engage people is I get them to give themselves my presentation. I'm telling you, if there is a master key to sales, that is it. When I can get you to give yourself my presentation, you can't not hear it because you said it. You can not hear it if I say it, but you have to hear it if you say it. You can't disagree with it if you say it, unless you're schizophrenic or bipolar. So now you can't disagree with it. So now you're all in because you gave yourself the presentation. If that makes sense, say that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so and I'm just showing you that this is how you create sales on a very, very, very high level. And so, so I enroll the people. I engage the people. I educate the people. I teach them something they didn't know before me. So they have the ability to do something they couldn't do before me. I educate the people. I teach them something cool. When you teach somebody something that they didn't know, especially when you relate it to something they already know or understand, they believe that you have the ability to solve all their problems and answer all their questions. How cool is that? Well, there's one more thing. After you've done all of those things in the art of selling without selling, the last thing you do is you empower the people to buy. And you empower them by giving them permission to say yes and letting them know that when they say yes, their, their, their enemy, their common enemy, will be defeated. Their external obstacle will be overcome. Their internal obstacle will be overcome. Their internal resistance will be relieved. And not only did they not cross any undesirable philosophical boundaries, they've actually reinforced every, every um, philosophical boundary that they have. And so now their life is better off. This is what I call the art of selling without selling. And when you do it this way, you don't have to talk people into buying and nobody can talk them out of it. Thanks for watching The Art of Selling without yelling, telling, or selling. Have a great day. Appreciate you watching. Bye for now.